What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into SciSpace Agent, the first AI super agent built exclusively for scientists, researchers, and R&D pros. And just a quick note, if you've used SciSpace before, this isn't the same thing. Previously, SciSpace offered advanced tools for every task, searching literature, reading PDFs, drafting manuscripts, but they were spread across different interfaces. But now with SciSpace Agent, a single prompt kicks off a fully automated all-in-one research powerhouse that searches, screens, analyzes, and writes for you. So forget about juggling six different tools for literature searches, data extraction, and drafting because SciSpace Agent handles all of it in one place, saving researchers hundreds of hours every year. And this isn't your typical chatbot. This is research first AI with deep ties into scientific databases, workflows, and publishing tools. Of course, the link is gonna be in the description as always, so let's check it out. All right, getting started to try SciSpace Agent out just head on over to SciSpace.com slash chat. Just go ahead and sign up and sign in. Instant access to the agent dashboard. No extra installs needed. I'm just going to go ahead and click on try SciSpace agent right here. And here we go. Now, every task starts with a simple text prompt. Just tell SciSpace what you need from a literature review to a grant draft, and it will fetch, screen, summarize, and even format the results. You can even upload your own PDFs, data sets, or research plans to make it even more tailored. All right, we're gonna jump into the first demo here, which is a rapid literature review automation. And we're gonna see how SciSpace saves weeks of work here. Now, normally a rapid literature review can take 200 hours, about a month of full-time effort. SciSpace can shrink that down to five to 10 hours total. So let's go ahead and drop in this prompt here. So I'd like to do a rapid literature review on mindfulness for chronic pain. I wanna find clinical trials, screen them by inclusion rules, make a results table and summarize my findings. And here we go, let's click the orange button and away we go. All right, here we go, SciSpace is executing the plan in real time here. So we're gonna go ahead and check on these results in a moment here. All right, here we go, let's take a look. Now it's only been a couple of minutes here and there has been a bunch of activity from the agent here. We can see all the activity in the chat box here. And we have a summary here. So letting us know that it has completed a comprehensive rapid literature review on mindfulness interventions for chronic pain management. And we have some key results. We've got major findings, clinical implications, and a host of documents as well. Let's go ahead and open up this top document here. All right, so we've got a full rapid literature review here. So mindfulness interventions for chronic pain management. We've got an executive summary, letting us know that it has identified 27 high quality randomized controlled trials published between 2015 to 2025 representing the most current evidence on this therapeutic approach here we've got the methodology we've got the search strategy inclusion criteria search results screening summary and we've got study characteristics as well so we've got intervention types target populations study quality and there are key findings in here as well really everything you need here in terms of a research document it's all in here and we've got a results table as well here so we've got all the results here nicely organized in our results table let's go ahead and check out included studies as well and we have all the included studies here so we can cite all the different studies, all the different authors, the title and the author is all in here. And we've got review criteria as well. So we are talking dozens of dozens of hours of research content in here that is shrunk down in a matter of minutes here. This is amazing, amazing stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and close this over here and we're going to come on over to the new chat here. We're going to keep things rolling here. We're going to jump into the second demo here. So research draft creation here with citations. So we're gonna turn some raw materials into a publication ready draft here. So I have a prompt here. I wanna go ahead and write a full research draft on how nanoplastics harm the gut barrier using my PDFs and top outside studies include citations and a reference list. So I've got a couple of PDFs here. So here is my first PDF. So this is a full review paper on nanoplastics and their potential impact on human gut health. So this is a narrative review and I have a mini review you as well from various authors here. I've got my two PDFs uploaded at the top here. I just went ahead and uploaded them by clicking on the attachment icon right here. I've got my question here. Let's go ahead and punch in our request. All right, here we go. The research draft has been completed. Now, SciSpace agent is letting us know that it has completed the comprehensive research draft on how nanoplastics harm the gut barrier 
and has incorporated both of my PDFs and the latest outside studies. So that is exactly what we wanted, of course. So we have 8,000 plus word comprehensive review covering all major aspects, proper academic structure, evidence from my PDFs, detailed mechanisms, complete citations. The next one here, we've got key findings from our materials. So we've got our first PDF and our second PDF, just breaking down the exact key findings from both of our PDFs there. We've got additional research integration and supporting documents as well. And here are our key documents here. So we can go ahead and click on the first one here. Here is the first one. It is a full comprehensive review of mechanisms and health implications from nanoplastics and gut barrier dysfunction here. So we've got a full on paper here. Everything you'd ever need to know, it is all in here. This is the first document here. We've got conclusions, all the references as well. The next one here, we've got a complete bibliography. We've got supplementary references, research draft deliverables as well. It is all in here. This is about as detailed as you're ever going to want to get here. Now, SciSpace agent is going to go ahead and always recommend a what's next section here at the bottom. This goes ahead and intelligently predicts what we might want to be looking at given our initial prompt and research findings here so we can really go down the rabbit hole. All right, we're on a roll here. So we're going to jump into the third demo here. And now for this one, I want to get out of the lab and into the business side of things a bit more here. So I got a prompt here that I'd like to punch in. So I'd like to find patents on solid state batteries filed since 2018. I want to know who the top companies are and I want to plot yearly filing trends here. Let's go ahead and punch this in. And as always, SciSpace Agent is going to go ahead and execute the plan and jump straight into its findings here. Here we go. SciSpace Agent has successfully completed the analysis of solid state battery patents filed since 2018. First things first, we've got solid state battery patent analysis results where we have the top companies. We have filing trends highlights, key insights, and we're going to scroll down here as well. And we have a number of documents to check out here. Let's go ahead and click on these first one here it looks like we have a chart here we go we've got a bunch of different charts here that really give us a solid understanding of the visualization of what's going on here the one in the top left here we've got the top 10 companies here so we've got Toyota in the lead the pie chart down here shows the patent distribution and we've got annual patent filings as well with a vertical bar graph. Of course, the top left here is a horizontal bar graph. All right, let's come on over to the next document here. Here we've got a solid state battery patent analysis report, which includes an executive summary, key findings, top 15 patent holders from 2018 to 2025. We've got yearly filings trends and a full market analysis, including an industry sector breakdown, geographic distribution, technology focus areas. We've even got future outlook as well. So we've got some projections and a conclusion as well. Everything you could ever ask for with our initial prompt there. We also have some data sheets here as well. So we've got top companies here and we've got yearly filings trends as well. And of course, the what's next section at the bottom here, just to point us in the potential next direction here. Now we are going to wrap up with something every researcher needs, and that is posters and presentations to concisely summarize reports in an efficient and visual way. I'm going to go ahead and pump in a prompt here. So I want to build a conference poster with my key findings and bullet point conclusions. I want to create a five slide deck summarizing the findings here, and I'm going to go ahead and use one of the PDFs from earlier here. So the one on nanoplastics, let's go ahead and upload that. So there it is. And we're going to go ahead and punch this in. All right, here we go. Our request has been fulfilled here. So of course I wanted to create a conference poster based on my PDF there. I do see a PDF version of what I'm looking for here. So let's go check this out here by clicking this. Here is our conference poster in all of its glory here. So let's have a look here. It is super, super concise. It looks like everything is on here. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Let's quickly go through each section here. So we've got background and objectives here. I can see global challenge here. So 367 million tons of plastic production has occurred since 2020. That is crazy stuff. We've got some research objectives, methodology, key findings, biodegradation potential. Here we've got health implications and systematic effects. And at the bottom, we've got conclusions and future research priorities here. So this is all in a concise poster, just like we asked for here, all from one prompt. SciSpace produced a polished poster with figures, 
titles and highlights. And we've got a ready to present slide deck formatted for conferences. All right, now on to final thoughts. SciSpace Agent isn't just another AI assistant. It's a vertical super agent for science, saving researchers 90% of the time of the most painful academic tasks. Whether you're doing reviews, drafting manuscripts, analyzing data, or scouting patents, it's like having a full research assistant team on call. It's live now and you can try it for yourself at sizespace.com slash chat. Of course, the link is gonna be in the description as always here. And for a limited time, you can get 40% off SciSpace Agent add-on credits. Now to keep things exclusive, just go ahead and drop a comment with SciSpace Agent and we'll reply with the code directly. Make sure not to wait because this deal is only gonna be around for a short time and make sure you check all the links below. And with all that, good luck and have fun with your research.